you know about Sweden? Uh, Jesper Parnovic. Yeah. Annika Sorensen. Played on the PGA Tour. I, well, I like golf. So okay. I got my, got my, my oh, golf cool. dominatrixes, my two favorite things. Awesome. Yeah. Getting beat up by the golf course and beat up by women, you know. I don't know. Sweden is it's a good place. Good people. Yeah. Friendlier than the Finnish. Do you know any Swedish bands? Oh, sure. I mean, one of my top five favorite bands ever is Randy. Really, Human Atom Bombs is such an amazing album. And you know, Satanic Surfers, uh, Mill and Collins, sure. Mill and Collins Collin is actually, Hives. they're going to play here in um, September. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, what's funny about Mill and Collins is they were playing in Denver, and you know, they don't, they don't party that much, and we do. And uh, we convinced them to come out with us, and the drummer, uh, got really drunk and he fell down a flight of stairs. Hysterical. No. Yeah. He had to, he had to get off the tour. Nah. Yeah, he broke his ankle or something. Oh, man. Yeah. That's what we do to bands. That's what NoFX does to other bands. <laughs> cool. So it's all strategy. You know, if you want to get ahead, you got to make sure the other bands fail. <laughs> <laughs> What is the hepatitis bathtub? The hepatitis bathtub? Well, that's our new book. Yeah. Which I think we're going to put out in Swedish because uh, we're putting it out in 10 languages. And it's just, uh, it's not the book people expect. It's a very dark book. It's, I mean, it really, it's got rape in it and molestation and murder. Is everything true? Yeah, everything's true. And it's just, it's not so much band stories. It's more what we went through as kids because everyone in the band had a really fucked up childhood and teenagehood, you know, and bands, no other bands talk about the stuff we're talking about, you know, like I talk about my mom was sick and she, she had cancer, she was dying, and she asked me to kill her and I killed her. So what is the best story in the book? Well, our drummer, it's his book, he wins. Because he was a junkie for six years. And what he did to get heroin every day is just crazy. You know, he, he, was, he was a thief. And every day he, he robbed somewhere to get money for heroin. And then, hey, we're going on tour. Oh, okay. And he'd come on tour and then he couldn't get heroin and then he'd get sick. And this went on for six years. So his stories are just crazy. And he used to fuck Courtney Love, so that's funny. They used to do heroin together. Are you as punk now uh, as you were from, from the beginning? I, I'm less punk right now because I stopped drinking and doing drugs 30 days ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. But, Congratulations. Well, thank you. But before that, no, I was punker. I, I didn't try drugs until I was 32. So when I was a little kid and in my 20s, I never, I never tried drugs. 
So I was just doing business, starting a record company, making sure the band was good. And then uh, I started doing drugs in my 30s and I got crazy. You know, I married a dominatrix. I have a dungeon in LA. So I'm pretty punk now. You know, I do punk things. You know, I drink, I'll, I'll drink piss right out of my wife's, uh, right, right from the source. <laughs> You, you guys been around for 33 years. Mm. Will you be around for another 33? Uh, no, yes, I'm sh longer than that. No, uh, no. We decided when Bad Religion breaks up, then we got three more years. Thank you, Stockholm. You see, that's called sarcasm, you fucking idiot. Hey, who brought their children today? Who brought children? Who brought children to a fucking amusement park? That's just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs>